Hello viewers, Flash Motorsport here and welcome to the Nürburgring in Beam NG. Today we are going to be using a three-wheeler because I did the biggest vehicle on the ring, now to do the smallest vehicle on the ring. The smallest vehicle being a three-wheeler with a full 31 horsepower and it does like to fall over. So as we pull away, time has started and we'll hit the first corner and we are going to... Uh, Ah, okay, yeah, we're already falling over. So that is a great start up to now. Right, let's try again. Next time, don't take the corner so fast. The great thing about this car, it is a full 31 horsepower. So it's absolutely brilliant on fuel, but that's not a concern at the moment. The concern mainly is cornering. As we go around the corner, it has two modes. It either goes around the corner and slides out or it falls over and when it falls over the inner wheel that is in the air decides to spin and you absolutely destroy your speed but it doesn't corner all that well either but it does like to go sideways as you can hear and see but it is uh, quite entertaining nonetheless as we're coming down here we do have to be mindful as we are going through a quite fast long S and that is going to really upset the car as you can see, we're falling over a little bit, little... Ah, look at that, we saved it. And the big thing we've got to remember, we've got to keep the wheelie bin on the back of this thing as well. That is my reference point I'm going to use. As long as we can keep the wheelie bin to the end, we are golden. Right, another good thing about this, unlike the previous race we had in the bus, we don't have to really worry about the brakes because uh, this thing is so light and it's not exactly fast we're not going to really overheat our brakes our full 31 horsepower is pushing us up to 64 miles 62 miles per hour and slowing down the only thing i have changed on this vehicle is i've put a five speed gearbox in it where the previous one was a three speed but that is all there's no power increase there's no uh race tires no better brakes no nothing it is a bog standard run around the mill three wheeler with a wheelie bin attached to the back of it as you come in down here now we're getting a massive speed of 56 miles per hour and still accelerating now you see we're nearly getting off the clock here like that 100 kilometers about to hit there into the red that's not a problem we're going to go into the next gear and down the hill we go and that is as far as the clock goes <laughs> we are doing 72 miles per hour that is brave in a car like this my biggest concern is the next corner coming up it is a flat out corner now i'm going to wonder if we're going to make it, if I keep it flat out, I'm going to take it wide, cut in, try and keep it steady. Steady, there we go. It's holding, it's doing well. Did that corner at a full 70 miles per hour, lightning speed. Right, hard onto the brakes, changing down the gears, coasting it around this corner. Steady, steady. I've got to, uh, uh, yep, yep, there it is, there it is. Hey, I knew it was going to fall over eventually. Right, we survived that corner. Let's come down the hill flat out and see if we can survive the bottom dip and up through the other side. The great thing, to be fair, around the other side is if we're already turning left and we're tilting over, we're going to totally miss the curb. But we can take the curb still. <laughs> 80 miles per hour through here, 81. Keeping my foot right in it. Up the hill we go, taking it wide. Going to cut in because I don't want to take the line too tight. There we go. A bit of slide and a bit of uh, two-wheel action. The car's only cocking its leg up a little bit. It's not a problem. To be fair, sometimes when it does cock its leg up, it is quite helpful. And you do get a lot of wheel spin from it as well. Uh, there we go. Cocking its leg up a little bit there. Getting all playful. And spinning the tyres on the way out of that corner. Mountains of power. This car, is, nothing's going to beat it. As we pass 50 miles per hour. Flat out. Absolute beast of a machine and look at that it's even getting 24 miles per gallon now you find me another car that's going to give you this kind of a fuel efficiency and this much of fun and write it in the comments down below and let me know if you can think of a car that's going to be like that and as like i say you're saving money <laughs> and you don't even have to buy four tires when you wear them out you get three so that's another saving right there as we come around this corner we're going to cock our leg up a little bit again oh oh oh, oh that's a bit too much that was a bit too much cock in the leg. Yeah, right. So we survived again. We survived again. We're going to keep sending it. Breaking down a little bit through here. 
Turning in this corner. Oh, we're over. That's it. We're over. Oh, no, no, no. Ah. Oh. Cracked the windscreen. Right. Okay. Oh, I broke the window. Broke the rear window. Not a problem. I don't think this thing comes with air conditioning anyway. So, nice to have a bit of ventilation, I guess. <laughs> uh, shame about the cracked windscreen. But it will have to do. We have gone this far now. We're not starting again. Coming downhill. Turning in, being mindful of uh, cocking his leg up a little bit more. Uh, there we go. And this is what I say, sometimes when he cocks his leg up, the back end comes around as well. And uh, you can do a, uh, a good old 180 unexpectedly. Breaking hard into this corner, you can hear the tyre skidding away as we change it through gears. Cocking ourselves over again. Stop, 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 stop. Ah, we're good. <laughs> I just love the slow, you're over on one side and... It just casually goes back on his wheels. Yeah, it's not a problem. <laughs> it cracks me up. Oh, this car is an absolute blast. Anyway, coming down the hill, we're going to make our next corner. We're going to take it quite steady this time. I don't want to go into that uh, white wall. Steady, steady. That's it. There we go. We survived a little bit of wheel spin coming out of the corner. And then we've got the long hill climb. So let's cock this leg one more time as we go through here. Right over we go, just touching it and back onto the wheels. Now we start the beginning of the long climb up the mountain we go. We do have to bear in mind, one of the brakes are getting hot. Now I can't seem to figure out if it's uh, front, where the, the way it's set up. So you've got the front, uh, the two at the top, one on the left hand side. Is that the front brake or is that the rear brakes? Um, because when you're driving a car with four wheels, the top set is the front brakes and the bottom set is the rear brakes. So is that front wheel and then left wheel and right wheel? Or is it front wheel, right wheel and left wheel? I don't know. Uh, just make it up as we go along, I guess. <laughs> but one of the brakes are getting hot. Yeah, well, it probably is the front brake because that's the only one that stays permanently on the ground as I'm cocking my leg up in the air. Yeah, we're going to go for that presumption. But as we take in this glorious, beautiful scenery through our beautifully cracked windscreen, um, we can take a moment to breathe a sigh of relief that we made it this far, mainly on three wheels, but half the time I'd say are probably on two wheels. And we've only had one accident where we have taken out two windows to provide us with some much needed air conditioning and a cracked windscreen because seeing properly is overrated. Why do we want overrated? We don't want that. We want a bit of fun. Anyway, passing the ambulance, which we're probably going to be having a call later on down this race because how easily this thing likes to fall over. Luckily enough, they are there on standby just for us on this track. <laughs> we're passing a 12 kilometer sign, losing power as we're going up the hill. We're going to have to go down another gear. We're really, really blazing fast down here at a full 39 miles per hour. This engine is an absolute monster. Full 31 horsepower as we're going up this hill. Keeping us at speed. Actually, we're gaining speed. We're at 42 miles per hour now. I think speed is kind of overrated because we won't be able to get to see this beautiful scenery if we was doing 143 miles per hour. At least we get to take in the sights, fall over a few times and still have a laugh. I have to be honest though, thinking about it, I've watched a lot of uh, Nürburgring videos of the, on the YouTube channels and I've never seen a three-wheeler on here. Are they allowed? Um, let me know down in the comments below if you know. If you've seen a three-wheeler on here that doesn't have stabilizers like I do not, uh, if there's any clips out there, if there isn't any clips out there, are they allowed on the track? Let me know down in the comments below. But as we approach our next corner at a blazing speed of 44 miles per hour, just checking the damage on the car, turning in and, uh, yeah, falling over again. But lucky enough, we get to keep turning. <laughs> Back on the wheels we go. Oh, that's beautiful. I absolutely love it. Engine starved of oil. Yeah, it'd be fine. <laughs> it was only tilting over a little bit. I'm sure there's oil back in there now. Right, we're going to have the next fun bit of the track as we're coming through this next section right now. Uh, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there at a full 43 miles per hour. Dive in, taking it in nice and low, nice and deep. 
inner wheel spinning up as we're going around bouncing off the road <laughs> trying to keep it in there and coming out the other side alive lucky enough it is a banked section so i very, very much doubt we would have fell over but as you can hear because of all the uh bounciness of it we were spinning up the wheels quite frantically all part of the fun i guess as we come around here we have gained a few miles per hour but we're also losing miles per hour very fast as well we're still climbing what i would say is quite a steep hill but we are coming towards the end of the hill climb and we pretty much could be dropping down the other side very soon although it does feel like an eternity we are getting there <laughs> slowly but surely there we go 35 miles per hour right now we're going to be picking up some speed coming around this corner are we going to cock our leg a little bit nope we're going to slide the back end round on instead and find a load of speed from somewhere because we're now at 55 miles per hour and still gaining coming around here gonna try and keep away from the curb because i don't want to touch the curb and bounce over back end stepping out a little bit tap on the brakes and you can see it does want to fall over by trying to keep it straight and true through we go tipping ah, there we go ah perfect i'm starting to master the falling over now starting to get old of it and manage to keep it in a straight line although when it does tip over it does lose a lot of speed anyway gonna be breaking early for this corner because i know it looks wide but it can be a funny old corner there we go kicking up its tail again well it's more sticking its leg up in the air and showing everybody it's undercarriage uh, <laughs> yeah i didn't really think that one through before i said it now it's quite funny um anyway we're gonna come around this corner now are we gonna stick a leg up in the air and show everybody yes we are look at that right into the curb that's all right only he's gonna scratch the side that we've already scratched already <laughs> so uh no more damage and now probably because the thing's made out of fiberglass that is a lot of work to put right because fiberglass isn't a fun uh, material to play with when you scuff it up like that it's not like you could put a layer of paint over it it really does damage uh the fiberglass anyway blazing speed down through here over 60 miles per hour can i make the s a little bit steady steady there we go look at that we're making it are we gonna jump nope <laughs> nowhere near fast enough but i tried i tried i mean if we did jump it i wonder how far it'll still keep bouncing because <laughs> there's no weight to this thing if we're bouncing <laughs> into the sandpit ah well we are making great progress now we've come away from the long hill climb down we go through here we're getting up to what 62 65 there we go 65 miles per hour and uh, we're losing it all again ah this car is an absolute animal it's so fun to drive though it's so funny right we're coming through here I'm trying to keep the thing as straight as possible because we are going quite fast and the last thing i want to do is fall over at a speed like this because it is only going to be detrimental and absolute ruin the car <laughs> coming around here under steering like anything back end stepping out I'm gonna send it through this next corner there we go sticking its leg up in the air one more time two more times there we are right now we're going to go through the next fun bit of the track lucky enough like i say it's banked right over sending it through there we go trying to keep it as straight as i can it's just bouncing around everywhere and well we made it out the other side what can you grumble about one more corner and we're going to be on our very long straight bit of track see what top speed we can get out of this beast of a machine coming around here there we go are we going to cock our leg up on this last corner? Very much doubt it. There's nowhere near. We're going fast enough, are we? 50 miles per hour. Coming round. It feels like it wants to. I can feel it weighing over, but it doesn't in the end. Right. We're at 58 miles per hour. 59. 60. Yeah, the blazing speed on this thing is compared to walking. Not compared to a GT3 or a Lamborghini. It's more compared to, to walking speed of a turtle. Can't really grumble though because I'm getting 30 miles per gallon on full throttle. You know. <laughs> Absolute beast of machine. Oh no, we're going down to 24. 25, 22. <laughs> okay. 
Well, we have completed a lap. Well, nearly completed. We do have a few corners left to go when we get to them in about a month or two's time. But we have pretty much completed a lap of the Nürburgring in a three-wheeler with minimal damage. I mean, we lost a window or two here or there. May have cracked the front windscreen a little bit and may have scuffed up one corner a bit more than I should have. But in reality, it could have gone a lot worse. You know, we've done extremely well. We are passing the 15 minute marker. Now this probably could be the lap record for 31 horsepower. I will have to check upon this uh, one day in the future. But I would say 15, 16 minutes for 31 horsepower. It's a blazing speed of a lap. And you cannot grumble at that. I mean, what kind of other lap you're going to have that you're going to spend more of, most of your time falling over? <laughs> it's pretty much a Jack Russell of cars, really. Everywhere it goes, it wants to stick its leg up in the air and fall over when it runs too fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh that uh that is terrible but as we come around the last corner are we gonna make it under 16 minutes oh no 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 we binned it oh no we're back on our wheels but we ultimately complete this lap in 16 minutes and nine seconds if you want to see me do the same race in the bus click the video down below